Hello, Rebel Moon fans. This is James from Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to the channel, please give us a subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button and click that bell to stay up to date with all the recent videos. We're going to be covering Rebel Moon in full on the channel. Can't wait for this film. Zack Snyder's next project coming to us from Netflix. going to be arriving on Netflix sometime, uh, possibly in 2023. No release date as of yet, but this is a rundown of what's going on so far. It's all very exciting. Some more cast members have been added. Uh, but before we get to that, we gotta look at this. Look at this. This is the logo for Rebel Moon. Netflix dropping this on us. This new logo right here, only on Netflix. Check it out. Eagle Eye fans are noticing that the second O in Moon is very reminiscent of Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen. Does that mean anything? Well, I don't know. Time's going to tell, but uh, it's kind of a neat little nod. However, other Eagle Eye fans are noticing that it is a crescent moon right there, and there's symbolism. The waxing crescent moon symbolism. I got this off of Twitter. The waxing crescent moon symbolism. Positive thinking and positive action. Increasing your wealth or bringing in money into your life. Increasing your health making new friends or finding better ones, attracting something in your life that you desire, building a better future for yourself, manifesting what you desire or making things happen mysteriously, making changes quickly and successfully in your life, making decisions easily, starting new project or business ventures. That's intriguing. That might not even have anything to do with the film. That could be Zack Snyder himself. Increasing happiness and joy and increasing love in your life. So take that as you will. Zack Snyder is someone who is very fond of symbolism and meaning and depth. And so I wouldn't be surprised if any of that actually played into this logo. On the other hand, this could just be a logo and that might not mean anything. You never know. Time is going to tell. Furthermore, into the production, Zack Snyder said, this is, then now this for me as a film guy, this is what I find super cool because I really, really love what he did with Army of the Dead with those lenses. And now he's saying that he found some vintage lenses, lenses from the 20s and all he can say is it's going to be interesting and that uh, that truly excites me. I mean, Army of the Dead, I thought was a beautifully looking film. If you recall, Snyder shot Army of the Dead on the Dream Cannon rangefinders. He shot completely wide open and that's why he shot the movie himself. He was his own DP because you need precise focus and he said that if it turned out like crap, you know, that would be a terrible thing to ask a cinematographer to do because you have to be so precise on it. And some people have spoken about criticisms about the way it looked. For me personally, I thought it was fantastic. But I, I'm really curious to see what he's going to do with these lenses from the 20s and what lenses they were. I can't wait to read more on that. Snyder also added that this film is the result of his love growing up a Kurosawa and Star Wars fan and that he spent the last two to three years building and fleshing out these worlds, which is very exciting because this is obviously a passion project, something that he had years and years ago on his mind and now has come to the forefront and it's something that he's building on and growing and it's very exciting stuff and I think Netflix like a streaming service like Netflix is a perfect place for something like this here uh, the costume department room 215 for the costume department uh, there's a picture from that but no phones are allowed right now on set so no one's allowed to see anything beyond this like this is it once you get here you are there uh, Stasner on Instagram posted this there's the script right there very exciting stuff let's go so time is coming we know they start shooting April until uh, November a little bit more on that later on but that's a long period of time to shoot now let's get into some of this casting now recent casting has included Corey Stahl Michael Huisman and Carrie Elway which is always exciting but one casting that really has me intrigued and excited is the casting of Rupert Friend, uh, who, if you don't know him, was in Homeland, and also he was in Hitman, but he's also in the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show as the Grand Inquisitor. Um, whether you like the appearance of that or not, it's not important to the fight. He's a great actor, though, and he is going to be playing the main villain in Rebel Moon. He's going to be leading the army to go against uh, the Seven Samurai, if you will, of this film, and that is very intriguing. I like one thing with Zack Snyder films is to get them all into action shape, but now he's getting like the actors in there as well, and we're getting real actors with the action. It's just this thing is this setting up to be something great. And another thing that's amazing about this as well is that, like I said, it starts shooting in April towards the end of this month until November, and that's actually going to be two films. They're shooting two films all at once, and if it's received well and we show up and watch it, spin-offs are being discussed as well, which we already knew, but this is more concrete now. Like, hey, if you watch this and you like this, you're gonna be getting some 
spinoffs, which is very exciting. And uh, Snyder Netflix updates on Twitter said someone who reportedly works in the industry has described the props for Rebel Moon as effing otherworldly and said it almost feels like the set is inspired by Native Asian and African architecture. Very tribal, which we got from this view right here, from this production art right here. But also, you could take a look at this here. Now, take this picture with a grain of salt. Not sure how true this is. This is uh, making its way online right now. This could be a set piece, reportedly a set piece, but again, take it with a grain of salt. Could just be somebody taking a pic anywhere. <laughs> really, we don't know for sure what's authentic at this point, but take that with a grain, but it still looks very cool. So that's the latest info on Rebel Moon right now. This is shaping up to be something special. Hopefully we get, like I said in a previous video, this could be the next Star Wars, the next big franchise like Star Wars. Very exciting stuff happening. The use of stop motion and computer graphics could be great. And the fact that no phones allowed in the costume department also exciting um, and then look at this the cast is now cast is shaping up literally in every way shape and form all right everyone that is the update today on rebel moon please give me a like and a subscribe and until next time may you be the master of your own universe